<laughs> what was that? Sounds like there was an explosion. We have to see where it is. Samson and Steven quickly went to find out where the explosion came from. And there was the storage room on fire. Oh, fire! A fire at the storage room! Not just that! Look! There was Sailor John riding on skiff, sailing away with the pirate ship and the treasure. There's a man on a small boat on rails stealing the pirate ship and the treasure! I've got to stop him! And off went Samson after Sailor John. Looks like we've got an engine in pursuit of us! Give back the treasure and the ship! Sailor John and Skiff passed through Natford Station. There's someone stealing the pirate ship! And the treasure, too! Stole that sailor! Looks like we'll have to stop whoever that is! And Lady and Stanley joined the chase after Sailor John. Now there's three engines coming after us! No matter! I will stop them with this leftover dynamite! Bombs away! Dynamite? How did he- No time! Incoming! I don't think so, Sailor John! Skiff began rocking himself left and right. Ah! That was a close one! I think that boat is helping us. Ah, Skiff, you stupid piece of wood! If you think I'm going to let you hurt those engines, you have another thing coming! Kelly was at the middle of his nighttime stroll. Then he saw the pirate ship rolling by. Is that the pirate ship? Stop that sailor! He's taking the pirate ship and the treasure! I'm warning you, you landlubbers! Stay away or I will throw this dynamite! So that's where the dynamite is! All right! Prepare to be blown! No, you don't! No! Kelly went right after Sailor John. With the swing of his crane, Kelly managed to hook on to the pirate ship. <laughs> With all of his strength, Kelly managed to topple the pirate ship. No! Not the pirate ship! Thank you, Kelly! You're welcome! I may not be able to get away with the pirate ship, but no matter! I can still get away with the treasure! Almost there! Almost to the sea! I know a shorter way around! Stanley, keep at it on Sailor John's tail! Lady and Samson went the shorter way, and Stanley took the way Sailor John took. We're almost to the sea, you hear me, Skip? You're not going back to sea! What? Hey, Skip, what are you doing? Putting it into this chase! If this is how you're going to play, Skip, then so be it. I'm taking down your sail! But Skiff was slow enough for Stanley to catch up and couple up. Stanley applied his brakes, but then Sailor John uncoupled the treasure car and hopped on it. Ha ha ha! Goodbye, Skiff! You will not be missed! No! The treasure! But then Lady and Samson got in Sailor John's way. What? No! No, 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 no! Yes! You did it! You stopped Sailor John! No! This was not supposed to end this way! 
But it is supposed to end this way. Because in the end, the good guys always win. No! The next day, the police came to take Sailor John away. You are under arrest for property damage, theft, unauthorized use of dynamite, and putting innocent lives in danger. Samson and Stanley, you both know what to do with the treasure car. Yes, lady. But what about Skiff, is it? Yes, that's my name. Now with Sailor John gone, I have nowhere to go now. I guess we can let you stay here on the island of Sodor. Oh yes, I would definitely like that. Soon Stanley and Samson were taking the treasure back to Olmstead Castle and saw that the pirate ship was loaded on and was also being taken back to the castle. Hi, Stanley. Hi, Samson. So you managed to stop that sailor from stealing the treasure, I see. We sure did. And we should thank you, Kelly, for saving the pirate ship. That was really quick thinking you did, getting the pirate ship off the tracks. It was the only way I could think to stop that thief from stealing the pirate ship. It was definitely very good thinking indeed. Now let's go get the pirate ship and the treasure back to Olstead Castle. Soon the pirate ship and the treasure were brought back to Wolfstead Castle, and the storage room was now being repaired after the fire was put out. And let's not forget about Skip, who is free to live his own life on the island of Sodor. Free to sail around on the rails, wherever the wind takes him, of course.